Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss about what are the implications of competence. So many different applications are there in competence. These are used in boats, airspace, navals, and many, many, many different vast applications are there. In the use of fiber reinforced composites has become increasingly attractive mainly due to the increased strength, durability, corrosion resistance, resistance to fatigue and damage tolerance characteristics. The fiber reinforced composites has an increasing characteristics like uh, increased strength, durability, etc. By using these in uh, uh, these as the applications, they are giving giving their very good results. So they are using there in every field. Composites also provide greater flexibility because the material can be redesigned to make the design requirements as they also offer significant weight advantages. So composite parts uh, at present uh, 20 to 30 percent are lighter than the conventional metal parts. The composite materials used in the aircraft industry are generally reinforced fibers or filament embedded in the resin matrix. The most common fibers are carbon, aramid, glass and their hydrogen. The resin matrix is generally an epoxy based system requiring the temperatures between 120 to 180 degrees centigrade. The first structural composite aircraft components were introduced during 1950 to 1960 were made from glass fiber reinforced plastics. Due to the high strength and stiffness combined with low density, composites like boron fiber reinforced composites and carbon reinforced composites were preferred instead of aluminum for high performance aircraft structures. So basically what is meant by boron fiber carbon reinforced plastics? So the reinforced plastics which in which we are using the boron as the matrix and fibers as an reinforcement, those type of the Plastics are called as boron fiber reinforced plastics. While they in the as a matrix material, when we are using carbon, it is carbon carbon reinforced plastics. For lightly loaded structures, aramid fiber reinforced plastics which possess low density. So in this, by using the different metals or materials, we have to select the material based on the properties of the materials and what are the combo, what are the applications where we are going to use these products based on that we have to select the raw material select the matrix and reinforcing material by the basic the main strategy is selection of raw material or as called as matrix and composite preparation. For light aircraft, lightly loaded structural components, glass, the composite aircraft components used for structural applications are generally fabricated by sandwich construction. As we all know, sandwich is nothing but the uh, two Two parts uh, will be there, and uh, it is compressed by the the reinforcing element will be in be in between uh, the first and second uh, reinforcing elements. So that is called as sandwich element. And this is Airbus Industries used advanced composites in Airbus A three hundred aircraft was flew in nineteen seventy two. In this, this is a cover panel, this is training edge panels, this is wings, this is random cabin and this is pylon pairings. So in this also they are used 
composites. Next, in nine, later on, in 1979, the service evaluation of Airbus A300 aircraft lead to further use of composite components on aircraft, namely as CFRP, carbon fiber reinforced polymers. And later on, 1980 to 85, there are uh, 1987. So these are nothing but the various composite components used on Airbus series of aircraft are given below. So first Airbus, random thin leading edge and tip etc. are the advantages. Airbus A300B2, Airbus A300 These are the different components which they have used as a composite material. By using the major draw, major benefit of using the composite material is by using the many of the composite materials, the weights can be reduced. Here, the aircraft type A, uh, Airbus A350 it is actually weight of the composites is 5% that is nothing but 5% 310 is 7% 320 is 15% of the weight of the composites are used Airbus 340 is having 12% so use of aircraft composites of A340 so here uh, doors fiber reinforced apron CRF these are the uh, aircraft uh, A3 Airbus 340 aircraft. Various composite components used in Boeing series of aircraft. So 737, 200, 300, 400, 740, 70, 700, 760, 77, This also some of the components uh, which are made by composite materials are used. This is next application B3, B series B737. In this, B is nothing but Boeing 737 series. Here, inboard and outboard upper cover skin panels. It is used by fiberglass. Here, the twins uh, edge panels are glass or fiber or graphite. Here, Flap support fairings that is used as graphite fiber glass. So these are the main indications. This is used by graphite, this is fiber, this is fiber glass and graphite. So next comes to the weight of the composites used in Boeing series, that is B series. Boeing 737 200 is used in 1973, it is well done, uh, 1%. Next, later on, it is gradually constant to 3%. On Boeing 777, it has increased to 10%. Next, B7 series, this is also CFR CF uh, use, uh, used. For elevator, leading and uh, trailing, caplon, etc. are used. And this is the next uh, composite structure of A320. Here also, some of the carbon fiber and uh, carbon fiber reinforced polymers and uh, glass fiber reinforced polymers are also used. So, next application is on military aircraft applications. Most uh, military aircraft applications use carbon fiber epoxy composites. About 26% of the structural weight of AVB 8 aircraft of carbon fiber reinforced comprises of wing, forward wheels, horizontal stabilizer, elevators, rudder, and other controlling various surfaces. The various components used for F-14, they have used doors. They are uh, used co composite materials for doors, horizontal tail and fairings. For F-15, rudder, vertical tail, horizontal tail, 
and speed brake etc is used. For coupon it is used the composite materials are used on wing, spin, ruler, inboard elevation and fuse usage. On the light compact aircraft, more than 40% of the structural weight of the composite of the aircraft is built in advanced composite materials. Here the entire wing, vertical wing and control surfaces are made up of carbon fiber composites. By using this carbon fiber, uh, they can reduce the weight and that can increase the properties which they are have, they are going to have. In this also, it is used for, in this aircraft. Here it is used for it is also used in space. It is having high specific modulus and strength, uh, durable, dimensional stability changes. And these are the, some of the examples. This is the uh, uh, space station. And this is the first uh, private man-made spaceship introduced in. It, it is used in automobiles also. And uh, these are some of the automotive applications natural fibers applications so this is a train made up of fiber reinforced composites thank you very much